Hello everybody, how you doing tonight? I'm out in the shop and I'm going to, uh, my goal tonight is to just get started on some pins. Um, I, I've been out of the shop for about a little over a week, almost two weeks, with other things going on around the house and other responsibilities. Um, I've got two videos geared up for Friday and Saturday this week, and then that's all I've got in the in the hopper. So I need to, I've got, I've got a ton of stuff here. I just need to start a couple so that I can, you know, continue to keep videos coming out for you guys. Um, I got some stuff to show you. I got to get it out of the boxes first. But what I'm going to do is I'm out here tonight. I'm going to get my air conditioner fired up and I'm going to let the air conditioner run for a little bit while I go in and eat some dinner and cool it off because it's uh, six o'clock at night and it's 91 degrees and it is humid and hot. Um, so I, I'm going to try to take the edge off. But let me shut the phone off and let me grab this a couple of items over here I want to show you guys. Check this out. These are some cutoffs. They're cellulose acetate. There's a certificate of authenticity. They were sent to me by uh, Peter Cochran. They're from the 1930s and 40s. He got them in an auction uh, from Le Mans, France. These things are sweet and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. I have to come up with an idea, but he made pins out of them and look how that shines, it's beautiful. I'm going to try to find something. I'm thinking maybe some fancy trim rings on a pin or something, uh, some type of an accent, but uh, I need to uh, find it, the right size kit or the kit with the right size or right diameter barrel because they've already had the holes drilled from where he made his pins. But that's all right. We'll find something and we'll, we'll figure out something to make with those. That, that's exciting. I never turned that before. Steve Thompson over at K&N Woodworks. Check this out. He's got his new stickers. He sent me a sticker and he sent me a business card. Pretty sweet looking. I love the design. I'm going to reply back to him and send him one of my RJB Woodturner uh, stickers. And check this out from Dave over at Chicago Pins. Dave's a Marine. Lots of respect for the Marines, buddy. Semper Fi, Dave. Check this out. He made these. Now, this, he says this is Chicago Blackhawks colors. I'm not sure. That looks like Louisville Cardinals colors to me, but, but uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. And then I bought a couple of things at the hardware store. I got a couple of these Dremel, the mandrels, because I use these all the time, and I literally, I, I break them from time to time. I uh, went ahead and got me some uh, blades for my reciprocating saw. And then uh, I'm getting ready to work on a a six foot long by about three foot high state of Kentucky. So I bought some decent uh, jigsaw blades. So I'm gonna glue that all up and cut it out. I'll show you guys more later. And check this out, a chainsaw file. I found this laying out in front of my house. I guess the guys who do the grass cutting in the neighborhood must have dropped it. So I grabbed it. I mean, it's, it's, it's sharp as heck. I'll be able to use that on my chainsaw. So that's just some of the items that were sent to me and a few things that I picked up, you know, at, at the hardware store, just trying to get prepped for project. Oh yeah, yeah, I picked these up too. I just saw them on my neck. I got some Bluetooth headphones. I really like these. They were only 10 bucks. These go in your ear, so I got a nice little thin wire so I can put my headphones on over them. They block a ton of sound out when you put them in, but with the headphones, uh, which my headphones, believe it or not, they actually have a jack in them. They're around here somewhere. I don't know where I put them. There they are over there. They actually have a jack in them where you can jack music into them, but these are better because they don't have that cord hanging getting in the way because it never fails. The cord hangs down. It gets caught on the handle of the saw or something on the lathe, so it's kind of a pain. I got a few things over here on the table. Let me show you guys. This is from Terry Frey. It's a little Aphromosia, and he also sent me this pin kit and said that he wanted me to uh, to build this kit and see what I thought of it. So these, actually, let me pull this, this blank out. These two blanks are going to be made into pins, and what I'm going to do is um, I get sent a lot of blanks. Not a lot, but I mean, you know, every couple of weeks I get a blank or two from somebody. And what I'm going to do is uh, this week, this Friday and this Saturday, you're going to see two videos come out that are blanks that were sent to me by viewers. I had one come out last week that I kind of screwed up when I loaded it, and it was the uh, the one I called Cedar, which actually turned out to be um, not Cedar, but uh, yeah, I forgot what it was. <laughs> It'll come to me in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna try to do two to three pins at a time that were sent to me by viewers. And then periodically I'll just have a week where Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday, you guys will see videos and I'll throw a shout out to all the people who have been so kind uh, as to send me blanks, you know, uh, as I turn their blanks. So you're gonna be seeing that. And let me show you a couple other things I got going. Friedrich Jury over in Sweden sent me some Mauser Birch and Mammoth Tusk. 
Now, I have been told by Friedrich and several other people that this stuff is as brittle as, as it comes. This is going to be a trick. I'm going to spend some time doing some research and see if I can find a good way to drill this. And I want to take my time because I'd really like to turn this into a pen. So this one's not going to happen soon. It's going to be a slow process, but I cannot wait to try that one. Um, I've got uh, James Heater sent me some uh, um, Corian. And Wes Woods sent me some piano keys. He disassembled an old piano and sent me some ebony piano keys. So I'm going to be making something out of that. Um, I've got some gift cards back here. I'm going to do another gift card pin. You guys might remember about two years ago, a uh, year and a half maybe, I did a gift card pin and I used CA glue and it wasn't worth a darn. So we're going to do another one with epoxy. It should turn a lot better. Uh, it took me a while to save up some gift cards is why it took so long to get another one. And check this out. I've never done one of these laser cut pen. I'm going to attempt to turn one of those. And then these are the blanks that I recently made, the cutoffs. I'm going to go ahead and cut these into two blanks and see if I can't turn uh, one of my uh, homemade color pencil blanks. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six items on the bench that I'm going to start working on tonight. A little bit of prep work here, a little prep work there. I got to find kits for everything. Well, almost everything. A couple of them already have kits, but uh, this is what I'm going to start working on tonight. I've been busy tonight, guys, and you can tell I'm sweating like crazy. It's hotter than heck out here. Let me show you what I've got so far. I've got the two colored pencil blanks. They're tubed and the glue is drying. This is the Aframosia blank for the cameo pen from Terry Frey. It's drying. And here is the Blackhawks blank and it's tubed up and drying. Over on the other bench, I'm working on the laser cut blank. Now I just got done gluing the tube in. I was putting all the tiny little parts in and the issue is those little parts, as soon as you roll the blank over, they would fall out. So I went ahead and glued the tube in, and once the glue is solidified, I will go ahead and start gluing the individual pieces in. As I get the smaller pieces glued in for each note, I can go ahead and just put a dab of thin CA on there, which will lock them all together and prepare the blank for turning. Looks like there's not going to be a huge amount of turning associated with it. Probably what I'll do is take a skew and just go right down the surface and just make sure everything is nice and smooth. And uh, then we'll sand it up and get it finished. Kind of fun, but man, is it tedious. <laughs> Lots of little pieces and I got these big old uh, baseball mitt hands here. So uh, I'm going to take my time with it. Well, guys, I'm done for the evening. I, I got about three or four more minutes until I move my hose for the last time watering my grass. I'll do that, set an alarm, and then I can turn the hose off from the back porch. I got this blank here done tonight. It's a laser cut blank. I got all those little musical notes glued in. It's got a coat of thin CA on it to hold everything in place and to let it dry. I'm going to let it dry naturally overnight. Uh, I got uh, the Aframosia blank done. I got the Similar 41 blank done. And I got the, uh, the uh, colored pencil blank for my wife done. So those four blanks have been tubed. Uh, they're ready to be trimmed to size and uh, barrel trimmed. And then I've got uh, two other blanks that hopefully tomorrow night I'll get some time and I'll come out and start working on those. But I'm going to call it quits. I'm burning up. It's hotter than heck out here. So you guys have a great evening. I'll see you again soon and take care.